Hello, welcome to Divine Honesty. Thank you to all my divines. And today I'm going to do a collective reading based on your element. And today I'm going to be doing water. Water um, encompass the Pisces energy, Scorpio's energy, and the Cancer energy. Okay, so if you know someone um, with these energies in your natal chart or you have these energy in your natal charts, this would be specifically targeted to you also this can be your moon or rising sign as well and with that let's get started okay also i do have a youtube and a facebook group called divine honesty so if you like this reading you like this content i do um different types of reading especially when it comes to like full moons new moons things like that so please feel free to join and with that, let's get started. Now, not all cards are going to resonate with all water signs. So just take what resonates, okay, and leave the rest. Okay, let's get started. So who are these motherfuckers? What's the best? Oh, damn. Look what you came out with. The Ten of Motherfucking Wands. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. It doesn't have to be. But I'm seeing there's a lot on your back. For some of you, you're going through a lot of things or just a lot of things coming um, to you. And it seems like a lot. For some of you, it could be a one, one thing that have you feeling different ways. Okay. If you can see, it is nighttime. People are looking at you. I'm saying some people are looking at you seeing that you're going through this, but they're not really doing anything about it. They're not trying to help you. They're actually pissing you off more. For some, I'm seeing that they are trying to help you. I mean, come on now, look at this. If you get the picture, they're deers, okay? And if anybody can carry anything on their back, it's these motherfuckers. But you're doing it, okay? You've been doing it since daytime okay since this afternoon and it's still on your mind so there's heavy ass energy i am so sorry for you and then like i said if this has nothing to do with you this has to do with someone else but if you can see he is walking forward you are going forward for some of you you just have a big ass idea you want to accomplish there's things you're trying to get done trying to get ready spiritually mentally or physically for next year and it is going to pay off for some of you i do see hard work you're working hard honey Okay, give us some more energy, okay? Give us some more details, some more clarity, guidance. Wow, this card came out. Oh, then we have your element, water, the cups, the page of cups. So this could have to do with children. For some of you, I'm seeing virtual school is taking a toll on you. Um, it could be, or you have to do with children. Also, I'm seeing new love, okay? New love. I'm seeing for some of you, if you look at the correlation between the pictures, hell, it's like you don't even want love or you want to give your love to someone else. It's like you're going into that. Someone is going into this direction. You're going giving that cup to that direction. Someone could have cheated. Also, this means someone that you're just tired of this relationship or you want a new fresh start. For some of you, you really want to be single or you want to be in a relationship. That same energy. There's some type of passion on one direction, okay? But the page of cups equals love and equals relationships. So, so for some of you, you could be getting into a new relationship or just loving yourself more. A lot of people who come to my channel, The Divine Honesty, are trying to understand self-love or trying to help people. Because like I say, we are all individuals and we can help other people find their path, okay? So that's exactly what The Divine is about, helping other people find their path within your their unique life. Okay, so what's another card? Let's see. Another card from my water signs, okay? And then look, yep. I basically said it, the Eight of Pentacles. So you definitely could be dealing with the Earth. Virgo, Capricorn, um, Taurus, you don't have to be. I also see water here as well. Um, but if you take a look at this card, my signs, okay? They're studying. For some of you, you're trying to study an art. You're getting into school, business, entrepreneurship but for some of you you're not focusing all on what you have in front of you remember to be grateful okay remember to be grateful and the less you give a damn the happier you will be, you will be. the less you give a damn the happier you will be okay yes you could have made a <clears throat> some different choices in life but you did what you did both good and bad and you are not who you was you have moved up it's called growing, okay? 
So don't forget to soften your forehead, unclench your jaws, and relax your shoulders. This is a reminder to stop holding tension in your body, okay? And I definitely see anything that you're putting your effort to is going to pay off. But look in this picture. You have a fucking rat. Someone is not, you know, someone is not having the best intentions towards you, okay? Some people could be doubting you. A little rat could be talking about your business and shit, running around talking about your business. And, you know, you have things, like I said, up here, you have another fucking rat. So, you could be a lot of different energies coming to you. Then you have a spider, a sneaky-ass spider. But you have a lot of gems in your presence that is stating pay attention to. That can be love of children. That can be love of other things. But pay attention to. You have talents that you haven't all the way um, um, looked into. Okay, or seeing. I also, also see for some of you, you're definitely dating or trying to do online dating. You're you want to do something unconventional. And what this states is, okay. And now as a water sign, you're very tapped into emotions. Water represents feelings okay it represents moving like a cancer sign you're ruled by moon so the moon controls the tides in the ocean so therefore you're able to definitely take on other people emotions for a pisces you're ruled by water but your water is more of a steam type of water you're mysterious you're within the arts all the water signs are within the arts poetry relating emotions okay and then you have your scorpio you have your drapes very poetic you're more when it comes to water you're more of ice fixed water you're able to concentrate on yourself or what needs to be done so what these three cards are telling you for my water is definitely i see there's a lot that you're putting on your shoulders just remember love and look into the other gems of your personality because you have hidden gems that are waiting to be unlocked okay for some of them you already know you're a fly ass artist for some of you already know you're a fly ass um poet for some of you you already know you can draw you can create or you can sell it's saying definitely take a look at that but just be um, aware of what you have around you the energies that are vibrating at a lower pace okay and it says don't focus too much on that because you have great expansion type of energy. Okay, so align with that. Now, I appreciate all the comments, likes, good love coming from my divines. Be sure you become a divine by subscribing or becoming a member on Facebook because we all shine differently and we are our pathways to other people to find the divine light within these human experiences. And thank you. This has been another Divine Honesty.